We all know that gold and silver investing provide unique protection against inflation and a wide variety of financial, geopolitical, and even personal crises. The good news is that we know where gold and silver prices are going. It's just a matter of when. But why have gold and silver prices tanked? Nah, be patient, my young Padawan. You'll soon see my point. In my last video, I shared this idea of gold, silver, and cash serving as our holy trinity that can protect us from the very uncertain economic future we face. While it seems simple enough, there were three very important pieces that really make this trinity of gold, silver, and cash work. One, it has to be in your hands. Two, all three need to be seen as liquid. And three, which may be the most important, and that's you. You and the decisions you will need to make will determine if you experience a crisis like most people or a world full of opportunities. I have little doubt that what we are going to experience will be a great wealth transfer for those that are prepared, equipped, and possess the mental fortitude to make it happen. But that all starts with you, your mindset, and how you frame what's happening. As Rick Rule said, the cash will give you the tools and perhaps the courage to take advantage of the situation rather than being taken advantage of. To allow your liquidity to take advantage of the illiquidity of others. See, it's that little twist on the framing that I want to focus on today because negative returns happen, but that's only where the story starts. Going back to that diagram, your gold, silver, and cash will provide lots of protection, but they can't protect you from yourself. I know you probably weren't expecting me to say that and make this hard left, but it's the hard left turn we need to make. While we try to have fun and learn as much as we can on this channel, none of that matters if you don't learn how to guard what you allow in your head, especially negative news, as it has a tremendous impact on your emotions and well-being. More on that in a moment. I know on the surface, it seems like stacking is pretty straightforward. Trade your fiat in for real money, dollar cost average, and simply wait. But even with what seems like a simple and straightforward approach, there are still hundreds of decisions you have to make as an investor. And research shows that the more negativity you're exposed to, the harder it becomes to exercise good judgment and decision making. Frankly, I'm concerned about the negativity and the negative news here on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, the reality of our situation is just the reality of the situation. We just can't sugarcoat it. Gold and silver have not performed well. We're in a recession. Every country is simultaneously dealing with high inflation and even higher levels of debt. At the same time, what we're getting on YouTube right now are the hypers, pumpers, turn doomsdayers, and parroters just repeating and peddling the same negative nonsense and information for clicks or to sell you something. And they're doing you a great injustice. As expressed by Illuminati Silver, one of the channels I truly love to watch, they said this last weekend. What is so sad is that some very popular YouTube channels are repeating and promoting this nonsense. And we, think they're doing a great injustice to their followers. Some of the biggest injustices are that these efforts often cost you money, and when it comes to the constant barrage of negative news, it also has an impact on your mental health and your ability to make good decisions as an investor. This false narrative that you have to do X and X days, or the sky is falling, this falseness of urgency can cause you to take unnecessary actions and often have you deviate from your investing plan. This is what we talk about when me and people catch that FOMO. Remember that whole 90% or junk silver craze they created? Remember all the videos about SHTF situations and how you would be using 90% silver to conduct transactions? Why aren't they talking about junk silver anymore? I mean, isn't that what junk silver was made for? The end of days, the skies falling, the great reset, death of the dollar? It was made for all this doom and gloom, but you hear nothing. And don't even get me started on the ridiculous price predictions on silver. It's almost a game of who can out more on each other with their numbers. Or you got the, once this happens, Prices will take out. Now, what do we have? Silver is flying off the shelves and you won't be able to get it, so hurry soon. Did you happen to notice how all of the negative talk about not being able to get silver happened around the same time silver was climbing from $17 to $21? And then, of course, the price came right back down. Meanwhile, there were a lot of big time dealers who made a lot of money during this hysteria that you needed to get your silver now before it runs out or you won't be able to get it. I guess we're just going to ignore the fact that. First Majestic just produced a record amount of silver in Q3, or in the fact that in Q1 or 2, I can't remember, the CEO, Keith Newmeyer, withheld millions of ounces from the market because he didn't like the price of silver. So is there a shortage or did we just cut off the supply? Let's go back to Illuminati Silver and see what they said. Now, before we look at other financials, just a warning against the pumpers. Sorry, we've, if we had the time, 
we would measure the number of pumpers' videos against the poor performance of the metals after those videos come out. You see, the pumpers, many of whom have a vested interest in the price of gold and silver going up, really know that their prices will be under pressure in the weeks and months to come. And their businesses and investments will suffer as a result. So what do they do? They produce videos, and many of them telling you that there are silver shortages, and the prices are about to skyrocket, and the dollar is on the verge of collapse. They've been doing this not just for years, but for decades. And so whenever you see a huge influx of such videos, it's almost a guarantee the price is due to fall. What is so sad is that some very popular YouTube channels are repeating and promoting this nonsense. And we think they're doing a great injustice to their followers. My concern is for you, my viewers. My real concern is the impact of the constant barrage of negative, the doom, the gloom, and how that impacts you, your emotions and your mental health, as well as your decision making. Here are some article clips that really speak to this. This has gotten so bad that they've created a, a new term called doom scrolling in 2020, which they call the, the tendency to continue to surf or scroll through bad news even though the news is saddening, disheartening, and depressing. A practice that they actually found increased significantly once we had the medical event. We have to understand that our brains process positive and negative emotions and information differently. One study found content that evoked heightened emotions like awe, anger, and anxiety were more likely to go viral. The most insidious part is when exposed to negative emotion, our brains tend to be triggered, which leads to more thoughts as they essentially stay in this kind of echo chamber in our brains and lead us to focusing on more unpleasant negative ideas. Many of you have seen me display the power of positive thinking before, and it's a phenomenal book. And one of the great points in the book that I just love is how it shows that our success starts with our minds. And we have to break these negative habits and stop worrying and empower ourselves to take control of our lives by starting with our thoughts, changing our attitude, and I will add controlling what you allow into your headspace. I offer this book as a place for any of you who may struggle with this. I truly believe that if you can master this art of positive thinking and learn how to be relentless in your pursuit, there isn't a thing in the, in the world you can't do and nothing can stop you. I'm gonna share a quote from absolutely one of the three best rappers ever, Eminem. And in his song, Rap God, he said, full of myself, but still hungry. I bully myself because I make me do what I put my mind to and I'm a million leagues above you. Focus on that idea. I bully myself because I make me do what I put my mind to. Success often requires us to bully ourselves a little. In fact, I think all significant changes in our life or the accomplishment of major goals require you to bully yourself. Your greatness ultimately starts with your belief and your thoughts as we were reminded by Gandhi with this quote, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, your values become your destiny. It's up to you to actively choose what to believe, your thoughts and what you allow in your head to influence your thoughts. Sometimes you just have to shut that TV and phone off, unless you're watching Stackers University, or at a minimum, we need to exercise discretion over what we watch particularly here on YouTube. Similar to the power of positive thinking, the law of attraction tells us that positive thoughts and energy bring positive results into our lives, while negative thoughts and energy bring negative outcomes. It doesn't matter if your thoughts are positive or negative, you will ultimately bring and manifest those outcomes to all areas of your life, including your health, finances, and relationships. We all know the phrase, mighty oaks grow from little acorns. Or if you're religious, you know Matthew 17, 20, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. My point is you are too powerful. Your goals are too important and you have so much to accomplish that I want to implore you to guard your whole being, your existence against the constant barrage of negativity because it does far too much harm to you and your greatness. We can't ignore the bad news of the, or the realities of the world that we're in, but we also don't have to wallow in it at the same time. Please don't let the negativity seeds be planted in your rich soil of your mind or give them the opportunity to grow. I need you to root out that negativity that is holding you back. 
block out that negativity on YouTube by showing discernment in what you watch, who you read, who you listen to, etc. And I was taught that we are supposed to call things that are not as they were. In this time of turmoil, transition, and unknown changes, what I do know is that if you expect the worst, you will get the worst. But if you expect the best, you will get the best. So yes, metals are down much further than any of us would have expected or even want to see. And yes, we face a large number of challenges, but I assure you the sun will absolutely come out tomorrow. The question is, will you be stuck in negativity or will you be seizing the opportunities it will create? Do not allow the negativity of the moment to take root in your mind and shape how you view the world. I'm loving gold at 1630 because I love buying things that I need and believe in on discount. I can't wait to see if silver hits $17 and if I could just get platinum back to 870, it's on. I choose not to see the negativity of poor metal performance, but the opportunity it presents as we get to choose what we attract in our lives. And I want you to choose positivity, optimism, and opportunities. You know by now I believe in the power of words, intentions, written goals, and your ability to speak what you want into existence. So today in the comment section, take this opportunity to speak something into existence. Be it a stacking goal for the end of the year, wealth, a new car, better relationships, happiness. Write it in the comments and let's see how successful you can be. Remember, just saying something doesn't mean anything without you taking positive action. You got to go do something. Go make it happen. Do something every day to get a little bit closer to that goal. Also, feel free to comment about this idea of silver running out and us not being able to buy any. Do you think that's legit or do you think it's hype? If you're hearing this, you've got to be an A-plus student and I thank you for joining me all the way through this journey. Always stack smarter and never stop learning.